is King City TV coming to you from Uptown Kingston at the BSP. I am your host, Faith Marie. My special guest today is JYO. Yeah, it's your boy JYO. I'm live at the BSP Lounge here for King City TV episode 3. I just want to put out a public service announcement that this Saturday, June 28th, I'll be shooting a video in Kingston, New York. Information is soon will be up on the Facebook and I'll be contacting a lot. I just want to also say that this August mixtape Check Society and if you ain't got that pay homage, go get that. Check. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Talk stupid, get your hit your head pop. Talk stupid, get your hit your head pop. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. I had me super drunk. Talk stupid, get your hit your head pop. Talk stupid, get your hit your head pop. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. Get by. Get your hit your head pop. Fuck your life, fuck your clip. Get your hit your head pop. Get by. Talk stupid. Get your hit your head pop. Get by. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. Get by. I did, I did this. Get your, get your head pop. Fuck your life, fuck your clip, fuck your wife, I fuck that bitch. Some pussy stink. How you eat that shit? Ugh. Yo, nasty ass nigga, fuck you from. Fuck your black, fuck your gun, never do that shit. Rapping all games, you don't do that shit. Nah. Yo, pussy ass nigga, you ain't never gave a buck fifty. Nah, you ain't never pull no trigger. Nah, so no work. Nah, you don't know how to cook up. Nah, you never seen no pounds. Nah, you never seen no pills. Never, you never seen no pills. Stop lying, yo, working ass nigga. You got pop, ain't do nothing. You got stabbed, ain't do nothing. You ain't real, nigga, stop front. You ain't real, nigga, stop front. You read it on the man, got knocked, but you read it on your man. I don't fuck with your kind. Nah, yo, snitching ass nigga. You ain't got no money, bro. You ain't got no car, bro. You smoking already, bro. And you still live with your mommy, bro. You don't pay no bills, bro. Yeah, you be fresh, bro. But your pockets on empty, bro. Yo, broke ass nigga, bro. Talk stupid, get your hit your head pop. Uh -huh. Talk stupid, get your hit your head pop. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. I did, I did this. Get your, get your head pop. Talk stupid. Smoking in every which way, stay green, reserve decay. Nowadays, everybody bang. Don't like that nigga blade. Do what the fuck I say. Ain't got that AK, but but oh, I spray. Wrapped up with tight game. We never lame, you're the blame. MCs, they all sound the same. Cause this is insane. Every time we roll up, all the girls in this spot, they post up. Everybody know us, they know how you can show us. Steady burning, draw up. A nigga bout to blow up. Since the beginning, day one, I knew the time would come. Drinking, smoking with my niggas, having fun. Rolling hella blunts, that super scum. Puffing on King Kong, hear the same song. This shit is so strong. Release my magic wand, go see that nigga long. With that green bomb, steady lifting, steady sipping. Cocaine dripping, so much blow, call me pippin'. These niggas tripping, candy flipping.
Let's welcome my special guest, JYO. How you doing? How you doing, sir? It's a pleasure, Donald. Uh, what's going on? Not much. I'd like to welcome my guest, JYO. How you doing? I'm doing well. Doing well. You're doing well? Mm -hmm. How was your show? Flood the Valley? It was good. It was good. Uh, Two-year anniversary. It was one of the best. I'm going to say it was one of the, like, mm, the most, I had the most fun time because there was a lot of artists from other places there. So I got a chance to vibe and just get along with other people from different places and just adjust to other towns and stuff and cities. Well, that was the first time I seen you. I really liked it, even though it was 2 o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah, that's not my fault. I mean, the way the politics be the situation, I'm not going to sit there and make that like it's a bad thing or whatever. But 2 in the morning, hey, I could do a show 2 in the morning. It was good. I mean, I was awake, but I was just like, you know, dragging. It's late. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> so what are the general topics that you display in your music? Um, I mean, when it comes to my music and like when it comes to topics and stuff like that, I think of things that really just, hmm. I want to hit them from this, like away from you really wouldn't understand a perspective, but also I want to think of perspective that people could relate to. You know, nine times out of ten, artists do music that people can't relate to, and or they think they can relate to, or it's just a thing where the direction is all wrong. And I feel like some of my really my my messages and my topics and stuff, it's all about like living life, being positive, peaceful. You know what I'm saying? By having fun at the same time. You know, they got these rules set for us to live by and accordingly. Right. So it's just a way of like. I don't know, I look at it, my music is something that you can listen to for any kind of predicament. Uh, good time, bad time, uh, emotional moment, uh, woman, female relationship situation. Exactly. I look at it like my music is something that you wouldn't really expect the same of if you heard a lot of it at the same time. If you went through like 15, 20 JYO tracks, you wouldn't look at them as songs that they were the exact same. The exactly, exact nobody wants to hear the same music over and over. Yeah, so I kind of, I'm trying to incorporate that with my shows too, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put more of it, put more of a stage presence into it, a little bit more of a uh, professionalism instead of just uh, random rapping and stuff over the microphone, losing my voice, etc. you know? So, well, choreography. Who inspired you to start rapping? Uh, my, pe my people from my, my, like, where my surroundings, like, growing up, like, I know people that did music at a young age, back in like the 90s, music, <laughs> hip hop music was something that it was already taking, you know, it was already like uh, evolving into like a real topic of something that money could be marketed from. And I knew it from a perspective of people that would have drum machines and they would have like little $5 microphones. And I started doing music with a karaoke machine. So, I mean, my influence is really more, it's like the music I was listening to and the actual surroundings of people I was around when I was hearing that kind of music. And plus people that were doing music. So just the fact that I always knew people that did music was an influence to me. Is it about the flashy things you get from music or is it does it live in you? Do you need it? I look at I look at that as all material things. I mean, the music will automatically come according to that eventually mm -hmm. if you get your successful playing right. But I'd rather be one of those artists that I looked, I was known for someone that had something to say instead of someone that just made so much damn money. I mean, I wouldn't mind being someone that was mentioned to be making so much money, but I'd rather have that feeling of like, I'd help someone's life. I'd change somebody's perspective and they're doing something better with their life. Or I, they, I made something, I made them believe in themselves of something they didn't believe in, you know? I mean, I don't know, I, I really respect that. It's not I all just, about the money for you. I just think of like, I think it's because of where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, we don't got no ball players, no rappers, no no actors, no, uh, you know, polit we got little politicians. We don't really have much of that stuff where fame and money is acquired at the same time, you know? So it's a thing where I look at it like the fame and the money is something that I wouldn't really want to have anyway because where I'm from, there's not that anyway. Where are you from? I'm from Kingston, New York. I'm right from here. Small town. If you heard my music, you would know where I'm from because I monologue that in every type of character I spit. I mean, if I wasn't saying that where I wasn't, if I didn't mention where I wasn't from, then there would be artists out here not even trying to mention where they're from. It's like one of them things where it's like, I go to New York City, everyone wants to be from New York City. Pick a borough. You know, you got your Bronx, your Queens, your Brooklyn. Everybody, 
is there, it's from there. I'd rather just be an artist that just came out of the woods and was like, yo, this kid is nice, so. And you're happy to be from Kingston, New York. Oh, I'm pleasured to be from here. I mean, the, it, it's a long-awaited process of still being here, but the fact that I'm pursuing my music and it's giving me opportunity to, to see more things and just become my life more, and I'm still home, it just only in my it only just I only envision the fact of me doing music other places, but doing it like how I done it here. You know what I'm saying? Like going other places and it already my life. It's become my life now, but going other places and it really becomes my life. That's when I already know the adjustment has changed from working a regular job but performing twice a month to oh, performing man. every week to right. put to going to the studio every week, not having to work a job for a living, but pursuing the music and making some kind of residual income. You know? I do. Know. We're gonna take this quick break. We'll be right back. Check. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Yo, my name is JYO. I'm from the Kingston, New York area. Check. I was born and raised here with the high school. It's all a facade. 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 From a bad dream, remember what they telling me How everyone that's friends with me can turn into an enemy That could be the end of me, it's different what they said to me Claiming this and that, but they not who they pretend to be Will never be compared to me, really that's just rare to see Apparently I tear the beat, you care to see, just bear with me I know it's hurting terribly, without you it'll better me Just let it be, you'll never see now, cause you dead to me Gone now, never coming back, just dead it, it's pathetic You pretending that you really that impressive And it's really just obsessive, so I gotta keep them guessing Waking up in the freezing cold, chilly, but I'm sweating, uh Any weather, it don't matter, we gon' be together Hot as flow, hollow grove, come and go, leave together Rubbing out my eyes, it's that time I can see it better Play Freddy Krueger in your sleep, I'm the dream catcher Feel to wake up, fucked up. Pockets broke as hell, he down on his luck. He on his last blunt, oh rent from last month. And his mom and baby moms for bailing his ass out. He, he chill, say it's all good. Food for thought, say his grace, keep his mind full. Hoping better times come. Nothing but evil, he see the evil and demons. Thought the realest people, now he seeming love when they seeking faith. Waking, baking up, counting blessings, saving up. Off a bench into a game, he trying to change it up. Really good. It's your boy J Miz, aka J Miz, that Nick, J M I Z, N Y C on everything else. You heard? Shout out to that boy, Possessed Beats, King City TV. Talk to him, I. It's your boy Octane, aka the Dark Prince, Royal Boy Octa. Follow me on Instagram, OC underscore 357. We about to get into our video though, transitioning. You know, show y'all niggas the transitions of life. But um, stay tuned to King City's TV. Got instrumentals. Huh. 
I'm just cool and I'm chilling. Transitioning from losing to winning. Enjoying life with a beautiful feeling. Fresh start like a new beginning. Power moves, decisions, whether gray or blue, sky's the limit. Homie, you cool and I'm chilling. Transitioning from losing to winning. Enjoying life with a beautiful feeling. Fresh start like a new beginning. Power moves, decisions, whether gray or blue, sky's the limit. As a young was told tall tales by people I looked up to Hoping I get the moral of the story when I grow up to Be a man, couldn't stay young, wasn't Peter Pan Grew a hunger for more in life, knew I needed a plan Wishing I had the resources it took to make the transition Got up off my ass, made it happen, me and my man sitting With our feet kicked up, metaphorically labor produced fruit And I'm trying to enjoy all I can eat and priorities is all I see when making decisions It started from thoughts, I made it a vision Cause ain't nobody cradled my shit when I was kicking the rail Inside these fake boys here, Jiminy Cricket Reaching for the stars cause the sky is the limit Learn how to make my own meal ticket Nah, I'm reaching for the stars cause the sky is infinite And this game could really get wicked I'm just cool yeah. and I'm chilling Transitioning from losing to winning Enjoying life with a beautiful feeling Fresh start like a new beginning Power moves, decisions Whether gray or blue, sky's the limit Homie, you cool and I'm chilling Transitioning from losing to winning Enjoying life with a beautiful feeling Fresh start like like a new beginning, power moves, decisions, whether gray or blue, sky's the limit. Check, man. Game plan switching in, they ain't a part of what's going on Feel I changed, I call it transitioning Everybody throw their opinions in Steady bitching, they feminine, emotional, get rid of them Tunnel vision, straightforward, no rear view to make it happen I'm ready, willing, able, prepared to Know your place when it come to me Do what you do, but know how to do it and keep a sucker free You get what you give, never take more than you can handle My problem, I treat my friends like family too. Loyalty over love, I understand too Blood way thicker than water, it's all a gamble Lose a scramble when you down Pray for the better, think they automatically down When it come together You don't work, you don't eat, it's all written No hard shit in this life, ain't no game to be I'm forfeit. just cool and I'm chilling Transitioning from losing to winning Enjoying life with a beautiful feeling Fresh start like a new beginning Power moves, decisions Whether gray or blue, sky's the limit Homie you cool and I'm chilling Transitioning from losing to winning Enjoying life with a beautiful feeling Fresh start like a new beginning Power moves, decisions Whether gray or blue, sky's the limit Yo, what's going on? It's Upgrade. Make sure you go get that Chemical Imbalance CD I just dropped. Make sure you get it. I put so much fucking work into this. Two years in the making. And, uh, you know, I gave out so many free CDs and free everything. So this is the first one you gotta purchase. But it's alright, because it's worth it. I promise. Oh, shit. That rhyme. Alright, but, um, yeah. So go to iTunes. You can hit up Bandcamp. You can even stream it on Spotify first if you want. And make sure you check out the new video, I Don't Fit In, featuring Heather Williams on YouTube now. YouTube.com slash Upgrade Hip Hop. When I'm not watching porn through the static of my TV, I'm tuned in to King City TV. Booyah! Okay, we're back with JYO. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself in five years. That's a good question. I see myself in five years really making a, uh, a, res a residual income off music, um, having a lot of things going on in other places, meeting different people. I see myself really, I see myself becoming a major artist in five years. What's your dream performance? My dream performance would be, I mean, I'm gonna be realistic because, you know, right now at the at the resources of shit that we have in New York, Kingston, New York, excuse my friend. Um, there's a place in Kingston that I always wanted to perform at since I was a kid. I used to go out there and just go inside and watch some Christmas balls or Christmas Scrooge ball humbug or whatever that was called. Um, there's this place on Broadway called the U-Pack. I always wanted to like sell it out. I always wanted to 
have like this humongous crowd of people around the corner of Broadway to just come see a Kingston kid, you know, but. That is amazing, like that's really amazing you would pick there of all places. I'm I mean, surprised. remember it's like how the fame and the money situation is like, it's bigger than that, you know? It's like, I wanna do some things for my city, you know, and I wanted to make an impact and, cause honestly, like it's hard being from here and doing this music, it's really hard. A lot of people will give up. It's a thing where it's over with. People start feeling like you're getting older, time is going faster, moves ain't being made fast enough. You gotta keep the moves up with the age. If they're not gonna coexist, then it's time to give it up. And this town is the quickest town to do that. So me performing at UPAC and having people come out, I feel like that would inspire like a lot of young people. It would make me, it would solidify my my statement, how I feel about you know my comfort zone of just doing what I had to do for my town. Exactly, because nobody puts anything back into this town. I don't think so. Apart. I don't think so. Not with hip hop music. I don't really see much coming back into town. I see a lot of artists trying to get, like, excel off the town or get out of the town. And go somewhere else and represent somewhere else. Yeah. No mm -hmm. one ever brings love back here. <laughs> what does your name, J Y O, stand for, mean to you? How did you get it? Uh, J Y O means to me, well, J Y O is the name I had got from. When I first started doing music, I had a few names when I was young. My first rap name was Young Money, <laughs> which is kind of crazy because it turned into a multi-million dollar business, you right. know what I'm saying? But when I was 13, I wasn't thinking that. I was just young and I liked money and I liked rapping about trying to have it. So uh, as I grew up, I started noticing that um, I got older. So my name was Jay Youngin. And when I was in high school, I was doing a little bit of music on the side and I wasn't really taking it serious, but it was something I was really like wanting to do and, and really wanted to get people to notice of me doing it. So as I got out of high school and stuff, go, like before all of that, JYO was just something that just came to me uh, around people I was at. I think it was because the uh, lack of uh, finishing people's names the proper way. As people start calling me WYO for J Youngin. Um, and then the JYO was just something that came accustomed to me. I did some research about what it meant and there's a lot of it's a, it's, a, it's a Korean word and it it means a lot of things about like just having passion and believe in something and having the integrity or I could put up this whole internet website thing I saw and it blew my mind and you seem like you have a lot of passion for the music yeah it's bigger it's bigger than just rap you know what I'm saying the, the rapping aspect of the music is really like a real small percentage to me it is I really it's all everything everything is more than just what people think it is and everything you know, you think you work at a job doing healthcare, you wiping ass. It's more than that. You know what it I'm saying? Is. You got to fill out paperwork. You have to handle this. You have to take care of this person's life. Like, there's deeper than that. With music, it's more than just going to a studio, getting some Pro Tools, and putting it on SoundCloud. It goes into your life. It really has to become your market. You have to really make it to something like people, everybody, that people and everyone know that this is something that no one can never shit on you for because you excel so hard, so high at it. And it's really impossible here. So, and plus I looked at, and you know, back to my name, I looked at it like my name is original. You know what I'm saying? It's something that I would think no one else would have. And if everyone else did, anyone else did, it was blat it's blatant slander or blatant copycat is work. But that was something now back to my name. I was saying that, um, cause I thought of that. I was like, yeah, the J. Well thing is just something I felt was original. As soon as I, as soon as I heard it, it was just like I caught it, and it is not an acronym. It doesn't mean nothing. And you can make one up. I've seen people try to make one up, and the J is this, and the Y. No, it's not that. It's really one word, one phrase is a brand, and I'm gonna push that. Who were, who influenced you growing up in music? Oh, who music. did you listen to? Mm. Who touched your heart? I feel like I was blessed to, to grow up in the lucky stages of, of music. Like, I mean, the age-wise, my age-wise, I felt like I was I was raised and, and acknowledged a lot of music, and it was the perfect time because it was, when it comes to hip hop, I felt like it was just pretty much 10, 15 years old when I was just first hearing it, when you know I heard the Biggies and the Maces and stuff. But my influences were people like Method Man, when Nelly came out, he started singing and rapping. Nelly, one of the first people to start singing and rapping. I don't care what nobody says. Uh, I like West Coast. Nate Dogg hooks was always something I always was influenced by. I also, I also listened to a different kind of music too, like a little bit of some jazz. I had a grandfather that listened to jazz. He was a vinyl guy. 
Uh, he plays some vinyl, and I'll just I'll just sit there and vibe out with him for days. We'll listen to some classics and a uh, little bit of some any kind of music that I feel like people has taken seriously and created themselves. The professionalism you see that when you see somebody doing something that's professional, that right there makes me want to listen. Like wow, hmm, they take it serious. It's something that could happen. I mean, even maybe some punk rock too, but it depends on what it. You know, it's not my influence, but it. Do you like that screaming stuff? You nah, but I respect well. it because I do respect it They make too. they make they impact right. to people. You right. know what I'm saying? I know people on the street. I'll meet somebody and they'll they'll be into that, and I can't justify them liking that or disagree or call them wrong for liking it. Right. It's just a thing where everyone is different, and you just become custom to everybody's general topics. My influences of my own happen to be hip hop influences because I'm a hip hop artist, but my right. cultural experiences and influences is way deeper than music. So what projects are you working on? Um, I'm working on a mixtape right now. Uh, I put it out. I proclaimed it a little early. Uh, it's called Check Society. Um, I'm putting it together really basically for the topic of that whole vibe. Check Society is really based on it's the Check Society we live in. Everything in this world that we go across, we come across. You'll see, you know, love. We'll see hate. We'll see betrayal. We'll see, we'll see fascination. We'll see fame. We'll see, you know, happiness. We'll see guilt. We'll see everything, any kind of thing in life that makes you feel like someone may have done me wrong or some have made me right. I call that check shit. If you don't know what check shit is, I'm sure my community knows what check shit is. Um, if you're a check, pretty much, this could be a good thing or a bad thing. You know, you, you're talking about things and uh, you're making no sense or it's a joke or whatever, somebody might call you a check. Um, but if it's a thing where it's like somebody betrayed your ass or hurt your feelings or something like that, he's a check. He's a bona fide check for that. So. I look at certain things in life I've been through and I feel like I had to put a tape together to really make everything that I've been through all on one segment. The people that, you know, from situations to where I've been betrayed to where I felt good about myself, um, to things where uh, jobs was misfortunate, I couldn't work places, uh, I had things on my record a little bit or something like that. Anything in life that has any kind of, you know, push in front of you or, or something to strive against you is to check society. You know what I'm saying? It's the world we live in. The thing that I think really like the modern technology and the way the internet is and the environment is with that stuff has got us all like that. We don't go outside and talk to people and have conversations no more. We just text chat and we we vibe. Is uh, we do the we do the uh, face chat or the video chat or the FaceTime. I mean, I'm accustomed to it. I mean, hey, yeah, it's, it's very. Me too, and and I feel bad sometimes I don't call people because I'm like, oh, I can just text them. Oh, I'm the complete check with phone calls and miss miss things like that, and I blame it like that because it become I become more of a lazy person because right. of that. But I look at it like I'm putting out this mixtape, and it's gonna be out in August, and uh, I may do a party to uh, a release party to do it. I'm talking and handling some of the uh, politics of that right now. But uh, that's what I'm really looking forward to. But in the meantime, I'm going to be performing and uh, I'm going to be putting out music videos throughout this whole summertime and month. The whole idea is to just maintain relevancy. So that's it. Do you feel like it's a disadvantage coming from Kingston, New York or New York in general? Yeah, there's a disadvantage coming from Kingston, New York. I feel like, I feel like just because people are ignorant, and don't know there's music outside of places that they don't know about. Kingston is definitely one of those towns where you won't expect people to think that there's real hip hop or a hip hop scene going out here. Exactly. Um, I've been involved with the Flood the Valley. Shout out to Flood the Valley. Shout out to Buffalo. Shout out the whole family. My man Jerry. Um, I looked at it like that was one of the first moves out here for hip hop to where people are starting to respect it and acknowledge it and be a part of it themselves. So. Once I start noticing that become something, I start feeling like, well, maybe the town may have a chance, you know, like before then everyone is like, okay, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. And we all trying to like, it's a secret competition to get to, exactly. it's really a secret competition to get to, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who can get out first? You know, shouts out my man, Bell, he's doing something out of the town and he's one of the only Kingston artists I know that has pushed somewhere other places, but. Who's your favorite eight, four, five artist? See, that's the question that get people in trouble. My thing is this: you, I respect grinds. It ain't even about lyrics yeah, for me. If you ain't, it. if you ain't doing nothing to where it's like, you know, all right, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it one thousand. And I don't really care how people perceive this, cause I'm done with the judgment of how people perceive things in life. They need to get that shit out of their fucking head. But anyway, I look at it like this: if you're not professional about it, and you're not taking it serious, then I don't have no reason to like your work. Uh, I've grown out of the stage of appreciating fellow artists that only just do it to just have fun with it. 
Like I, I, I respect they bars or whatever and lyrics and stuff like that, but you won't put them in my top five. I mean, there's always the greatest that is never heard. But at the end of the day, you need to push that shit or you will be always be the greatest that's never heard. I don't think I'm the best artist to come out of Kingston, but I feel like I'm the best artist with the clearest mind and the best direction out of Kingston to get out of Kingston. But I'm not looking at it as an ego trip. The last thing I would do is ego trip, but my five is professionalism wise. For one, my family, BMG, my brothers, L. Dot, and So Fresh, my man Tom Dotson, King City Studios, that's number one. And then when it comes to that, I respect dudes like Dom, Dom Gotti, he part of the Fresh Club for Knox. He's an artist as well that you'll see me around. I also got music with him as well. He's an artist that takes it serious. My man Ocho takes it serious. He performs, he makes original music. Uh, everyone that has a direction, that's all I care for with artists. I mean, certain artists like, uh, you know, like Ra Ra and stuff like that, Ra to God, they, they hold click, they doing their thing. Um, a lot of artists that are making their preliminary uh, premieres to the music and seriousness, at a, making a seriousness approach. Like, I was doing one minute freestyles for five years. You know what I'm saying? And I started making songs. And then I started making concepts to songs. So that's when you when you start seeing the transition of music in yourself. Exactly. That's when I'll start respecting artists out of nowhere. Let's take this quick break. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Yo, what's going on? It's Upgrade. Make sure you go get that Chemical Imbalance CD I just dropped. Make sure you get it. I put so much fucking work into this. Two years in the making. And, uh, you know, I gave out so many free CDs and free everything. So this is the first one you gotta purchase. But it's alright, because it's worth it. I promise. Oh, shit. That rhyme. Alright, but, um, yeah. So go to iTunes. You can hit up Bandcamp. You can even stream it on Spotify first if you want. And make sure you check out the new video, I Don't Fit In, featuring Heather Williams on YouTube now. YouTube.com slash Upgrade Hip Hop. When I'm not watching porn through the static of my TV, I'm tuned in to King City TV. Booyah! Mistake it as I gotta break Cause I've been patiently waiting and working Now I'm certain that it's time to make my way inside a circus A reality I'm not escaping This fucking rap shit's a clown show Money mounts low and I'm surrounded by a lot of faking Real, recognize, real, for real, I'm not relating, really I'm just glad that God instilled me with a lot of patience Fuck a modest statement, everybody chasing after the same dream But they should see our lines are not adjacent You can look at mines and try to trace them, but it'll never work Fuck it, guess I'm stuck with what I'm stuck with Family and a bunch of people I grew up with And trust the truth is I wouldn't trade these motherfuckers for nothing And I ain't bluffing, it's just how I feel Fuck your discussion, since it's a track I'll leave them huffing and puffing and middle fingers is up to any of you fuckers that would doubt I'm real uh, I'm sorta of hating what you want me stop Be getting paper while these ponies watch About to take it to the lonely top You gotta make it, it's my only shot And even though we so blessed Never thought that we could be so stressed It's like I'm down one with a free throw left The second on the clock I gotta make it, it's my only shot uh, Fresh bag of your some potent ganja Pen and pad, you just woke a monster Out of his slumber, no wonder you provoking drama With the dopest, I'm the nigga you supposed to honor No respect given, you know the fresh Don't expect getting none from us You can hold your breath wishing Take it to the top, that's the next mission And take the city with us if niggas did less bitching <laughs> I'm just saying you what my mind tells me Put your pride aside when you rhyme and you might as well be Saying you please say some trying to get signed Help me like your shit don't stay I hope you guys smell me <laughs> I'm one of the best to ever do it Son of a vet and bet as long as I'm running my set We never lose it coming correct With this music proving the reason that none of them test us Cause we some of the freshest dudes doing it Who was it? Uh, I'm so hating what you want me stop Be getting paper while these ponies watch 
About to take it to the lonely top I gotta make it, it's my only shot And even though we so blessed Never thought that we could be so stressed It's like I'm down one with a free throw left The second on the clock I gotta make it, it's my only shot The biggest battle of our professional lives All comes down to today Either we heal as a team Or we're gonna crumble Inch by inch, play by play Till we're finished. We're in hell right now. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time, at a time. So it's hating what you want to stop Be getting paid for while these police watch About to take it to the lonely top I gotta make it this my So I'm passing the grain Don't know where to begin Had to come to terms that Yo, what's going on? It's Upgrade. Make sure you go get that Chemical Imbalance CD I just dropped. Make sure you get it. I put so much fucking work into this. Two years in the making. And, uh, you know, I gave out so many free CDs and free everything. So this is the first one you gotta purchase. But it's alright, because it's worth it. I promise. Oh, shit. That rhyme. Alright, but, um, yeah. So go to iTunes. You can hit up Bandcamp. You can even stream it on Spotify first if you want. And make sure you check out the new video, I Don't Fit In, featuring Heather Williams on YouTube now. YouTube.com slash Upgrade Hip Hop. When I'm not watching porn through the static of my TV, I'm tuned in to King City TV. Booyah! Back with JYO. It's good, Chad. Okay, what to you makes what is the criteria of a good artist to you? What has to be done? What has to be done? What's the criteria of a good artist? Mm. I feel like I feel like there's like there's like ten dimensions. I feel like there's like ten dimensions to have to be a good artist and we'll run them down so we know <laughs> what they are. I mean, there's, I, I could probably go on for days, man, but I just look at it like, for one, you know what I'm saying, for whatever you're doing, you gotta make sure you're playing your ideas correct, you know what I'm saying? For one, you gotta really take control of what you're saying. To so have a plan. Yeah. Okay. And then for two, you gotta learn to sell it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta become a consumer. You know, I guess I sound like somebody I know it all, but I'm learning as I, as I go along as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, like a West Sponge to the game. But once you learn how to sell it, It'll come back to you, you know what I'm saying? I think you have to sell your music, but also get the crowd involved. Yeah. I've seen a lot of that at Flood the Valley. They're trying to get the crowd involved, like, say this, say that, you got to do that. Not per se, You're sell it, brand. like You're money, brand. but like sell the thought, sell the visual, sell the concept right. to where I they understand, understand it. Yeah. Understand. But it's like, yeah, that's when you do it, and then you incorporate it into performing. If you got your performing aspect correct, you got you got your, your concept with your music and your EQ and your your recording quality. You you forgot one thing. You gotta have a business mind. And business mind. I mean, mind. with the business mind thing, that's something that dudes don't have when yeah, it comes to music. Yeah, but you can't let other people think for you. You no. gotta have that. You gotta you got to think about that. Yeah. So, I mean, are you telling me the criteria right I'm now? I'm just you know telling what you. I mean, what, what, you know, what I think. You gotta have a business. I mean, I feel like I have a business. You know what I'm saying? Like JWO, I look at that as a brand. Like it is a brand. I, I look correct. at that as, as something that people will be willing to contribute. You know what I'm saying? And right. and look at it as something that'll make progress other places and make its way out. But I'm still learning and still trying to understand it. You know, I think I'm learning to become the best artist to have all criteria is myself. Okay. So maybe it's like I don't know them all, but I'm understanding them and I'm not in denial of what they are. You exactly. know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, with my, with me and my general, and me in general, it's like this. If I had like a, if I had a nice, if I had a mainstream budget, if I had an idea where people was investing and I was making some kind of like uh, financial in impact, I could pursue this more because I wouldn't work jobs and, you know, pay all his bills and whatever I had to do with my regular life, you know what I'm saying? I would have that in time to incorporate that. I don't have no children or nothing yet, but 
it would it would it would give me more time and more space to not think about what's doors knocking with this bill or this rent check due or certain things going on with life, you know. If I had that, then I'd be fine. But everything else, the business mind and the concept of how I want to move and market, I feel like I could make it out of here with what I have and what I'm going through. But for every other artist, every artist is different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. I, you can tell every artist is different, but there are certain things you must do that I, I think are important. So what do you think you should? What do you think we must do? What do you think I should do to get out of here? I think that you have to be on time for everything. Yeah. I think that you have to get the crowd more. You gotta really get the crowd. Like you gotta, be, you gotta connect with your audience. That is one major thing, mm -hmm. and that's how you're gonna sell your brand. I make eye to eye contact. It's like a, I don't know if artists look at it, but there's like an invisible gap between the ceiling and people's foreheads. And when I look at it, I don't really. It's nothing there. It's all black. Right. It's all black. You see the forehead. You see some hair. You see, you know, snapback do rag or whatever. And then you see the ceiling, the air in between that, that's what I stare at. Because it gives me a clear direction of what I want to do and when I move around, I never lose nothing. Exactly. I never lost something because it's not like I'm looking right at you. And I'm not looking directly right in your face. I don't mind that neither. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the crowd exactly. you know, situation. But I just feel like only time people understand when to get out of Kingston or just market their music seriously is if they just follow all them criteria, the performing, the, the 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 business make people remember you that's that it. that that's the main thing people have to remember you like i'm like oh i've seen this hot artist and you got to see him and definitely people got to remember you mm. that's the main thing and that's what we're on the way for kingston new york is definitely going to be on his feet is we're definitely making our way out of here yeah. and making something happen in the town i mean we just did the flood of valley two years things been running two years smooth uh other events and stuff out here is going down so, I mean, I'm not looking at it as like, um, you know, we wake up and just, you know, I'm going to get a deal today. Nah, it's all about the grind and the push, you know, and every day exactly. I'm going to do that. And that's how I'm going to push. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I came on time. You came on time. I came that's on time. right. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Salute. Shouts to King City TV. Shouts to my bros. Shouts to the BSP Lounge. Shouts to my man Dan. Shouts to my man Buffalo. Shouts to my man Jerry. Shout out to whole Kingston, New York. You already check. My city and my city show love back. Show love back. Show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back. Show love back. Show love to my city and my city show love back.